All right, guys, so when you first log into Afio, this is what you'll see. It's a dashboard area. Uh, you can start a new project up here. You've got all your previous projects and folders down here that you've been working on. Over here, you have a little bit of a, a dashboard. So we have my projects, which is what you're seeing now, and we have my brand. So let's check out my brand. So under my brand, you've got three main things you can do. One is you can upload and change and pick your default logo. So if you're working with other clients, uh, you can upload their logos and choose them later on, but you will still have to pick a default that it will use as the main one. Uh, then you can also pick a primary and secondary font. Um, I don't see that you can store or save these for different brands or anything like that. You can just pick one that you want to be the main one. You can always change them on each video, but this will just be the ones that it starts with. Um, you can also pick presets down here, which is nice, and you can upload your own, which is a great feature. Uh, you also have color palettes. You can add as many color palettes as you want, um, and then it will use one as a default as, um, for your main brand that you have uh, above. Uh, you also, on your dashboard, have your account settings down here. So in this little three dots here, you've got your projects, which we will go back to, my brand, which we're on now. You can invite friends. You can change your account settings, uh, just the basics, not a lot of stuff there, but what you need. And then you've got Learn Offio. This is great, a great resource to watch videos on how to use Offio. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to my projects. So here in my projects, uh, let's, let's, let's look down here first. You can sort them, of course. You can drag these into folders and move them around however you want, which is nice. Um, you can create folders and have videos within. I've had Offio for about two weeks. I've been playing with it, and I've uh, I really like it. In that two weeks, I've made quite a few videos, uh, both for myself and for clients. Um, so I will show you a little more about it. So up here, you've got start a new project, um, and you've got a couple options. First of all, you've got the default sizes here, like the social media post, the social media story, the full HD, and the Facebook cover, which is a nice option that it comes as one of the default sizes. Facebook cover, I like that. Uh, but you can also create any size you want, a custom size. Just put in the pixels, uh, excuse me, the dimensions, and create your design. Awesome feature. Uh, secondly, you have Smart Create. Smart Create is, an, uh, from what I understand, it's a newer feature that's based on your brand that you have as your default. So if we click on Smart Create, it's going to immediately ask me, do you want to upload a photo to create designs on or select a logo to create designs on? So let's just select a logo first. Um, let's just try a sample logo. We can upload our own. I've, I've got lots of them up there, but let's just use one of their samples. Almost done here. All right, so basically just these are smartly created based on a sample logo. Again, if we uploaded our own, it would look at that logo and make some decisions of, of what kind of videos to make with it and include that logo in. I'm just going to go to one more page so you can get an idea of what kind of videos it makes for the Smart Create. Again, you'd want to try it with your own logo to, to see how it works. But So here's one right here. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. All right, so let's go back to Projects. Uh, the, the other Smart Create based on an image is very much very similar. You would, Instead of a logo, you would pick an image. Again, we can say a sample. Uh, we can just pick one here. Let's pick, uh, let's pick this watch. So one more time, it's going to just look at it, look at the colors, stuff like that, and figure out how to make some videos that are pre-made, pretty fun. All you'd have to do is open them and probably edit some text. All right, so you can see what it did. It took the colors. It's got lots of uh, lots of great contrasting colors for those for that yellow. Um, just kind of watch one of these. Cool. Some of these it's going to show on your first frame. It's going to show your item, but then in when the video plays, it's going to show the original one. I think if you give it enough time, that it will continue to update them to show your actual item in the video. Um, like this one shows it throughout the whole thing. Let's see if this one does. This one doesn't yet. My internet is super slow, but I feel like if we waited long enough, it would uh, do it. And you can go to lots more pages. It just creates lots of them ready to go. So you just pick the one that you like, change the words to match what you're doing, and go. So let's go back to projects again. So instead of custom size or smart create, we're going to select one of these pre-made sizes. 
So for the point of this review and tutorial, let's do, let's create, I'm gonna do two. We're gonna create one from scratch uh, and then we're gonna edit one just to kind of show you how to edit one of theirs already. Uh, but let's just make a Facebook cover from scratch real quick. You get three options. So Pearson Portal is my main brand. So if I click this, it would automatically take my Pearson Portal logo, my Pearson Portal colors, which are mostly blues and white, uh, and it would create uh, templates and choose templates for me based on my brand colors and by using my logo, which is really cool. But for this one, I'm not gonna use my logo. I'm gonna do it for somebody else. So we're gonna do uh, a blank canvas for this one. Uh, when we're done with this one, we'll use one of these ones for other. But for right now, we're just gonna start with a blank canvas, give you a quick tutorial of the editor. All right, so here's the editor. Um, I really like it so far. Uh, so you're gonna have your main design options on the left, the left toolbar over here. And we'll go through each one of those in just a moment. Then you're gonna have your layers on your right toolbar. You're gonna have your timeline on the bottom toolbar. And then in the top, you get options that are kind of specific to each design tool you're on or each item or element selected at the time. Uh, at the very top, this one will take us back to our projects. We can change the name right here of this video that we're working on. We can resize this video, which is a great feature that I'll show you on another one, but it will let us change from this Facebook cover size to one of those other sizes and try to rearrange our items for us to make them look decent. Um, over here, you do have an undo and a redo, which is great. You can save anytime. Uh, when you exit or do other things, it saves automatically as well. Uh, and then you have a share and a download. Uh, these are really interesting. This share, I believe, is this is the template link where you can actually get a link and share this template with somebody else who has Offio, uh, and they'll be able to open that template up and use it for themselves and just change what they want. Uh, it's a great feature, uh, really makes it great for uh, the community and for people to share and learn together. Uh, then the download button lets you download the image of what, what you see here or the video itself, uh, which we'll do at some point, but not right now. That's what we'll do when we're done with the video. Uh, right here, when we don't have any layers or anything selected, you can change the background color. So right now it's white, which is fine, but just, just for the heck of it, let's change it to something else. Let's change it to this dark blue. And then over here you have the storyboard. The storyboard is where you can add more scenes and transitions between them. Right now we're working on one scene. And if I click on storyboard, you can see this is the scene we're working on and we can add new scenes. And as soon as we have more than one scene, then we can also edit the transition between the scenes. So if we click over here again, we can edit this scene again. While we're on the storyboard, you can change the length of this scene you, and you can copy the scene. So if you just click it, you'll go back to edit it. And we're just gonna go through these tools real quick in each toolbar, and then we'll just create something real quick. So over here on the left, first you have the designs button up here, the design uh, bar. And basically, sorry, one second. All right, so the designs is basically full templates that you can use anytime. You can just edit this scene to be one of these templates. And you can just click one of these and see different templates in here. Um, the templates for the Facebook covers are decent, but they're not as cool and they don't have the, as many of the scroll stopper effects as some of the other sizes, but it doesn't mean we can't still use them and I'll show you a way to do that in a minute here. Um, but I'm not gonna use one of these designs because we wanted to create it from scratch anyway. So I just wanted to show you that's what you can do. You can open up all their templates anytime for each size and use them for any scene. Uh, next is the style button over here. Again, this is where you can choose your brand, your brand colors, your brand font pairings. Um, it's nice, uh, it's really nice when you have text and you can just click on these to just have them all update and see the difference and find something you like or that works for you. Uh, then you have the text button. You can add the three main styles, a heading, a subheading, or a body text, or there's lots of pre-made types of text that you can just click on. It'll add it over here and then you can just change the text to what you want. Uh, some of them have badges or images. Uh, so that's cool, but you can always just add your own and then edit its size and its color and, and the font that you want and all that. Um, these are mostly just a couple fonts, a couple text items put together. So it's not one item, but this is going to be join the community is one font and grow together. That's another. So you could change the distance between them, change the size of each one, but they come ready made as a little preset that you can also edit as one item. It's uh, They allow for grouping and ungrouping, which is really nice. Uh, next we have the graphics. So graphics are gonna get different types of graphics like shapes and brushes and 3D icons and lines, emojis, all sorts of different things and stickers 
And then you've got overlays. And each one of these, you can see the number here, that's how many different overlays are in them. So these are like groups of overlays. Um, so just to give you an example, crumbling wall overlay, they've got 15 of those. So each one of these, if you hold your mouse over it, it will play it and give you an idea of exactly what this animation looks like. And there you go. So that's a wall that crumbles down like that. And this one kind of crashes out towards you. Okay, so these are just overlays, meaning they will overlay your entire video and you can put them out there anytime you want. So let's just put one in there to see what it looks like. So this is a Facebook cover, so it's a really odd size for videos. Uh, so you may need to move this overlay up or down, depending on what you want. Uh, down here, we have our seek bar and our timeline bar, which I'll show you in depth in a moment. Right now we can move the seek bar and see the video change as we go to get an idea of what's happening at each point. There's not a lot going on in this video, so it's only really about one and a half seconds here, but let's play the whole, let's play the scene to see what it looks like. So there's what it actually looks like when you play it. Uh, so what you would use for that for is like a reveal. So we'd have something behind it. So how would we put something behind it? I'll show you in just a moment. So we also have effects over here. These are really cool, lots of cool effects with smoke and fire and fireworks and water and all sorts of cool things. And then we have stocks. Stocks is going to be more photos and videos and masks. All of these are searchable. So right here for photos, we can say, you know, you could say green or you could say field. And you'll see pictures with fields in it. Okay, so you can search for just about anything you want. Same thing with the videos and the masks. So the videos right here, again, we could search for field. And instead of photos, you'd see videos with fields in them. Okay, uh, anything you like, you can just click on it and it will add it to your scene. Uh, same with masks. Masks are gonna be other images that you can put other images inside. Uh, I'll show you those in a minute. They're, they're not super important. Then you have the backgrounds. Backgrounds are going to be images, patterns, and videos that are meant to fill in the background, the whole scene, the background of the scene. Um, so again, they're in folders. So you've got shapes. You've got 181 different shapes. You've got 264 florals. And of course, you can just search it as well. Uh, same with patterns and videos. You can use a video as your background, which is a great feature. So as an example, let's put this one. So what we've got here now is we have two elements. Remember, we first we put the brick wall, and then we put this background. So the brick wall is over the background. So if we go to the beginning, you will see the wall. And as we play the video, the wall will come tumbling down, and what will be behind it is our background. Right there. So let's go ahead and give this scene a play again. All right, so the wall comes crumbling down, and our video is still playing in the background. Again, you can select either one of these layers over here, like this overlay, and I can move it. So you know what, I want the overlay centered right there. And the same with the background, it's up to you. The background right now is centered, but you can move it and have a different part of it. Uh, you can also make it bigger or smaller and then center it again, you know, really depends on what you wanna do. So if we play it now, let's start over. All right, so let's continue on the bar over here real quick. We've also got music. Um, you can search all of their music. They've got a decent amount. They have categories and you can upload your own uh, Which is which is nice. You can connect your Dropbox and have music there as well And then we have the files folder, which is great You can create your own folders and upload all your own images. We got my Bernie we've got other logos and stuff going on You've got videos that you can upload and of course logos Okay, again when you upload these logos you can also tell them they're a logo in the settings to be used for when you click things like replace logo uh, and then you have saved you can save i believe like favorite elements and stuff like that from each section right here you got graphics designs text so it's like a favorites and then this is a really cool feature uh it's it just says animate right here um, but it's not like the normal animate like anything has an animate button up here every element you can animate this animate is for the whole scene all right, so to give you an example, let's add a couple. Um, let's add a couple things here real quick. Let's do some shapes. 
So I'm going to add four or five shapes real quick here. Doesn't really matter what they are, just for what I'm trying to show you. Okay, I added four shapes. I'm going to move them around. Okay, so I've got four shapes there, and then let's do one more thing. Let's do a photo. Actually, this is a good chance for me to show you something cool. If we go back to graphics. Uh, where is it? Right here. So you've got expression photos. There's some other ones in here too, but this is a great one to show you. So in here, you actually have transparent PNG graphics that are ready, ready made for these kind of things. So I can just pick one of these, just as an example for you, but let's pick this one here. So you can see it's already a PNG. It's already transparent around it. So if I were to drag it behind any of these, you would actually see it behind them. Okay, and I can put it behind one, but in front of the other. So it's fully layers. Uh, just like Photoshop basically. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are going to use the animate button that I showed you over here that is really pretty cool. So if we go to animate, in here this will animate everything at one go. So a lot of the software you have to animate each piece individually and it's actually really tedious and takes a long time to make a really cool looking video where everything kind of moves uh, together and looks nice. So if I select any of these animation styles here, watch what happens over here. So it changes the animation for all the elements to kind of make them do something. <laughs> it's really cool actually. Um, so like say we wanted all of them to, ro to rotate in, where they spin in. So everything spins in and then it plays. What you can do is you can also randomize it so they all do different things if you don't want them all doing the same thing. But the, there's a lot of good uses for all of these. Um, the other thing you can do is once you've got it the, how you want, you can say apply. And then you can come back out here and you can say, you know what, I don't want to animate the background and I don't want to animate the overlay. But all the other, the person and the four graphics, we still want to animate. So now let's play all. Play all is this it's the same as play the scene, but it will play all the scenes even though we only have one scene when you do play all it just does it in a way that gives you sound if you have it and stuff like that. So we're gonna play all So you can see let's do that again All right, so you can see the back the back two layers they didn't do the little rubber band animation, but the other four five elements did so it's just a way to, to animate everything in the scene at once. You can also come back to it and say none and say apply and it will take that all back out. So then if I play all, instead of the rubber band, they only have the, up, the, the main animate they started with. So if I show you that, if we go to graphic, and right now we only see blue because that's the background because the start there's nothing there. So as we scroll, the things will show up. So now I'm going to show you the timeline editor, which is where we can see these layers, but in the timeline, which is super helpful and very powerful. It's basically a full fledged video editor when you have these kind of time, this kind of timeline you can work with. So it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, so for this first one, this graphic right here, you can click on it and it will show it selected. So you can move it around. But down here, you can also move it on the timeline. So if you look, it shows up after one, this is one second two seconds, three seconds. So this is a five second video. You can see the scene duration here is five seconds. So they all end right here. If we scroll down, you can see them all, but you can see how they all come in at a different time. Um, so I don't want that. I, I want all of them, or not all of them, sorry. I don't want this to come in later. I want it to come in at the same time. Now overlays, you can't change them, the, how long or short they are because they're an actual, basically a video of their own. An overlay is a video on top of a video, basically. So I can move it in the timeline anywhere I want. So I'm going to have it start right at the beginning instead of a little ways in. We don't want to see the background right when the video starts. We want to see it after the overlay plays, it's, gets its part done. Okay. And then all of these other parts, these are the same. I want these to show up right away. So these, I can change the length of time that they show up 
I can make them longer or shorter from either side. Okay. This one, I want it to show up right away, and I want it to stay on the screen in this scene the whole time. And I'm going to do the same thing with all these rays right here. I'm going to make them, I want them to last the whole time. So now everything shows up at the same time. Okay. But the layers still exist, so we won't see the background because the overlay is on top of it, and part of the overlay will be covered up by these four, five elements right here. Okay. So next, uh, you can lock elements, which means now this one, I can no longer do anything with it. I can't grab it and do anything with it. <laughs> if I try, I'll grab the wrong thing. Let me undo that. There we go. So I'm going to unlock those again so I can grab them again. But it's very nice when you happen to be trying to work on something under something and something above it keeps getting selected, just lock that thing. And now when I click here, it's grabbing the thing under it because that's locked. All right, then there's these hidden settings so I can hide it and unhide it. So it's just showing that that layer or not. Uh, down here, you can also reorder them. So if I put this over this one, I can also drag that down under so I can change the order right here in the timeline. Very nice. I'm going to put him on top of everything. I'm going to move this back over here. All right, also in the timeline, uh, you have two options. You can see the timeline like this, or you can see it compact. If you have a lot of them, I would make it compact so you can see more at one time. Uh, let's play the scene again so you can see that I fixed it so that now you don't see that background at all until after it starts playing and the wall crumbles. There we go. So everything showed up right away, then the wall crumbled, and then we saw the background. Let's watch it one more time. All right. Now, these are very weird and stationary, so let's make, remember, we can animate everything at once, but we don't want to do that. Let's just animate it ourselves. There's two ways you can do and change the animations for an element. One is the animate button, very clearly. Select whatever you want, and then click animate. So you have three options. You have your entrance, your emphasis, and your exit. So it's basically how it shows up, how it goes away, and what it does in between. So right now, it's got rubber band as the entrance. So let's change that so that this just fades in. Okay, so if you hold your mouse over each one, it'll kind of show you what it looks like. So fade in just fades in. When you have a, each one of these has an option, like from where it will happen. So where will this fade in? Will it fade in from the left, from the right, from the top, from the bottom? So if you do default, I think it just fades in place. So, but for this one, I want to fade in from the left. Okay, now the heart, I also want to animate. It's still rubber band also. This one, instead of fading in, I want this one to bounce in, but I want this one to bounce in from the from the top. Now let's do this one, animate. Let's do this one, uh, let's have it zoom in. And from the bottom. And then this last one, let's have it roll in from the right. Uh, we also have duration. So the long, the shorter you make this, the faster the animation will happen. And if you watch right down here, you'll see this change size. So if I'm shortening the animation, this is the intro animation, this is the emphasis, and this is the exit. So you can change the times yourself here, or it'll happen when you change it here. So if I change this back to there, this will go back to one second. So one second is the default, and that's what I like to leave it on at first, but then I can make it longer or shorter based on what I see. I'm going to fix this as well. Let's actually change that. All right, so let's take a look at what we've done and just play the scene. Okay, let's do it one more time. So you saw each animation did something different, but each one to me, I didn't, I didn't get to see it as well as I'd like. So let's make them a two-second animations instead of one. All right, let's check that out. There we go. I like that much better. Now this guy, he is not doing anything. Let's see what we can do with him. First of all, let's have him, uh, let's see, let's have him jack in the box. So he'll kind of jump out and wiggle a little bit. Let's have that take two seconds. All right. Let's watch this once and then we'll change some of the other animations and then we will, uh, I'll show you how to edit one of theirs and some other cool features. So that's how the jack in the box works. Now, 
Remember, there's also, I said there's two ways to do animation. You can click on it and click on animate, but you can also do the animations for all of these right here in the timeline, which is really sweet. So up here, you can see these all have an animation. The pluses mean there's nothing there. They're not animated right now. Okay, so let's animate the emphasis for our person. Right now, he takes two seconds to jack in the box into the scene. And then for the next two seconds, we're going to have him do one of these things. We're going to have him heartbeat, where he bounces back and forth, have him flash, float, shake, lots of funny stuff. Uh, for this, let's have him spin. So we're going to have him go clockwise. And now the animation speed, it's, it's very similar. If you move this, it's how fast he will do the animation for that time. So we're going to do 200% and see how far he spins and see how it looks. So I can use this to get an idea as well. So pretty good. All right, let's play the whole thing. So he jacking the boxes in and then starts spinning. And he makes it almost all the way around. Just because I want to see if we can. Let's make him go a little faster, see if he gets all the way. Yep. Cool. All right, so that shows you a lot of the different features in the timeline and all those kind of things. Uh, let me see if there's some other important things I wanted to tell you about. Yes, all right, so some other important things in the editor real quick before we move on to the last part is gonna be when you click on each element, you get options up here. Uh, lots of great options. One, this is a replace graphic. It will just show your other graphics and you replace it. But you can crop any graphic. You can remove the background. This already has the background removed. Um, I'll, I'll do one just to give you guys an example of how it works. Let's go to photos and let's do, uh, I don't know. Let's see what we can find here. All right, so we'll just use this one. So you can see that you can't see through this. You cannot see him jumping. You just see this package. If you click remove background, you get a certain amount of these with your with your uh, per month for free. And then it costs, I'm not sure what it costs, but they give you a decent amount of free ones with your uh, paid packet or your paid plan. I'll tell you about the payment options at the end. It's one of the most uh, budget friendly I found. So there you go. It took the background out. It did a pretty dang good job. Uh, so then I can put this wherever I want. You can also resize anything. The corners will resize it like that. This, uh, it'll only get bigger if, you know, you get it past a certain point and then it will stretch it. Uh, the corner will keep the ratio. And then you can also rotate anything by using that up there. This little guy right here is the rotator. Okay, so you can do it with anything. Let's make this a little smaller here. And let's uh let's have that one. We'll just have it wipe in. And we'll have that one rotate clock uh no, anti-clockwise. Exit. We didn't do any exit animations, but just for this one, we're gonna have it bounce out just for just for the fun of it. All right. I'm not going to be using this anywhere for any clients, but it gives you a good example of a lot of the different tools um, and toolbars and features and things like that. So now I want to go back and have some fun and show you some of the cooler features that you can do with NVIDIA um, with transparencies and stuff like that. But let's go back here. So a lot of the, they have really cool scroll stopper uh, templates that you can use, but a lot of them are made specifically for social media posts. So you're really going to find the better scroll stopper videos in these two. Okay, so we're just going to pick one of these and kind of show you how you can take one of their cool scroll stoppers and use it in some way for yourself. So remember over here, I told you you could do these. I'm going to do other templates. So we're going to start with one of Afio's templates instead of a, a blank screen. So they have quite a few. There's lots of pages. You can hold your mouse over each one and it'll play it. Some of them have multiple in them and you can click on it to get a multiple that are similar and pick the one you like. 
Uh, here's a new one, exploding head. So if you go to filter and you go to scroll stoppers, you'll find some really cool ones. It takes a second to sort through them. So a lot of these have the 3D effect where it looks cool and yeah, see, scroll stoppers. So those are really fun and really cool to play with. Uh, I've edited lots of them for, for my own use and I love them. Um, but I will show you another thing that you can do. Let's do this. Let's do... So I like this one right here. It's not the... It doesn't have the 3D jump out effect, but it does have a reveal. So we're going to start with this one. And I'll just show you how you can edit theirs really quickly to have something really nice that you can do for yourself or for a client. Uh, so again, this is the storyboard. If we wanted multiple scenes, we could just add a scene here. We can have a transition in between so it would fade from one to the other. So you could have a nice long storyboard with lots of different scenes with different text and pictures. Um, but so this was used uh, for Monster as a reveal. So I'm gonna show you what I did with it. Uh, so first let's get a quick look at what it does. So let's do a play all. So you can see it starts with this frozen top part and it defrosts or goes away and reveals something beneath it. Uh, there's a couple other things going on. You've got some snowflakes blowing. You can see those are in front of the background. And they never go in front of the can, so you can see they're behind the can. So over here we can see all the different layers. We've got our background, so it's behind the snow, but it's this mountain background back here. We've got our overlay, which is the frozen uh, stuff. Then we've got our can right here. Then we've got this text up here, Sub-Zero Monster. This text right here. And then this is locked, so I gotta unlock it. Okay, so then this is a graphic. What is it? Oh, this is the ice, sorry, sorry. This overlays the snowflakes. <laughs> so this is your ice overlay, that's why it's on the very top layer. If we were to put it down here, we would see the can and wouldn't see it. So we want that on the top. Uh, the reason we can see through part of it is because we're 2.3 seconds into the animation, to the video. So if we were 3.5 in, it, it would look like that, we could see more. If we go to the very beginning, it'll be full ice. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how we can edit this to make it our own. I'm gonna go back into the middle a little bit so I can see some of these other elements. There we go. So we've got the text, we've got this can. First thing I'm gonna do is click on this can, uh, and I'm gonna change this can. I'm gonna replace image. I'm gonna replace it with something else. I can pick lots of things here, but you can also tell it from my files. And I can pick a file. I can pick. I can upload a file now. I can pick from my logos. I can add fo folders. Let's use Bernie. So we're gonna replace the can with Bernie. And we say done. Okay. And we've got our text. You can just double click to edit and change your text. So I'm gonna say Sub Zero Senator. Get yours today. Let's see. I'm gonna make him a little bigger. I'm gonna center him again. If you drag him around, you'll see the little pink line. You can get that when you get the pink line on the top or excuse me, with the crosshairs in the middle, that's when it's centered. So that's the centered. But I'm gonna bring them down a little. You see how we've got a little reflection here? The, the can, when we replaced the can, it kept all the attributes. So it kept the reflection attribute, which is really cool. You can always get to that. I'm gonna move this because it's right on his face. I'm gonna move it down here. You can get the reflection effect under effects right here. If you click on that, you can see that this is using a drop shadow and the reflection. Actually, undo that. If you move something you don't mean to, it's, it's easiest just to undo real quick. So let me select him again. For a minute here, I'm gonna move him to the top just so he's easy to select and move around. Yeah, so he has a reflection on him, but, oh, there we go, now it's there. I think I'd accidentally selected one of the other things above him. That's why I moved him up. So I made sure I was selecting him. So now I can see the reflection. You can change the effects of the reflection right here. It's really easy, really cool. You can just turn it on or off. So right now it's using a ground shadow and a reflection. I'm going to take the ground shadow off and just use the reflection. I'm going to move him back down. And I do want, I don't want that reflection to go as far. I want it to be like he's touching the ice, like that. Over there, all right, just like that. Now, remember, we've got layers here, so I'm gonna move him back down. 
I'm gonna I want him to be under the overlay so I want the snow to go above him or in front of him so we actually see it in front of him and then we have so we have our background photo then we have Bernie then we have our snow overlay on top of him then we have our text on top of him um, we've got the sub-zero center to text I want to make this a little bigger and I want to put it down here but I want to put it behind Bernie so I'm gonna move that down under him so now it's behind him it just adds a little more depth to everything there all right so now let's see how this looks I like it you saw the snow in front of him so from there we could go and we can add anything we wanted we could add more overlays and, and stuff like that to add more depth and, and just fun stuff um, we could add little animated stickers and emojis to, to brighten things up. We can change the way the text looks. We can change everything. We can animate Bernie, uh, give him some kind of motion. Um, maybe at the end here for the exit, maybe we want him to zoom out at us. So for the last two, for the last second and a half, let's have him zoom out from the center right at us. So let's check that out. <laughs> so another thing you can do is you've got your scene duration so let's open up our timeline editor let's go to compact because I have a, quite a few layers here say I wanted that to last longer say I want to make this a 10 second video instead of 7 so we can just change it to 10 so it automatically will increase the length of everything and try to make it work for me perfectly and usually it does let's take a look and see So now we get to enjoy Bernie a little more and have him zoom out at us and actually see that that happen. Um, so you know you can't make it any length you want. Some of these things can't go on forever. There, some of them will rotate, will uh, loop and keep going. Um, some of them can't. Um, so you'll just have to play with the, the scene direction. Um, just you'll just have to play with it. All right. So I really like it. Now another great feature I wanted to show you is. You know what? I made this square and that's great and it looks cool and it does exactly what I want. Um, but you know what? It's not the, I need it to be for YouTube. I don't want it to be square anymore. I want it to be a nine by 16 ratio. So we're going to go up here to resize. We're going to click resize and you can resize it to whatever size you want manually, or you can pick one of these. So we want landscape, which is what YouTube uses. So I'm going to click landscape and I'm going to say apply. So it automatically made it a landscape video and kind of did everything it needed to do to try to make it work. It might not be perfect, but it's going to be close already and we can just edit it and move things around. So let's see what it did. Okay, so it looked pretty good. There are a couple things we can do. For one, Bernie is a little too big now to start, so we're going to make him a little smaller. We're going to change this so that we can see Bernie. There we go. So we want to put him about right here. We still want to get some of this reflection in there and see some of that. Let's get our text, so sub-zero. We're going to move that up a little so we can still tell what it is, but we get the depth by him going over it. Uh, let's see, get yours today. I think right there is fine. If we're not sure we can see it good enough, you can also do every single thing you select will give you options up here. Um, so let's do text. If I take Sub-Zero Senator up here, we can change the color. We can change the font. Quite a few different fonts. You saw all the pairings. We can change the size of the text. Uh, a lot of the different things that have to do with alignment and bold, italicized, casing, um, the text spacing, and then you have effects. So under effects, remember we have that drop shadow. Uh, we, well, don't remember we have the drop shadow, but we have the drop shadow. So you see how it added that little darkness behind there? And we can make it more of it or less of it. We can make it darker. So let's do that. And then let's do the same thing for get yours today so that we can see this better. So let's go to effects 
See, there's no drop shadow at all on it, at all on it, excuse me. So we're gonna add one. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the transparency down. Make sure that's right. There we go. You can also mess with the size and the blur. If we take the blur down a little, so look, you can see where it is now, it's way up there. So let's get that where we want it. There we go. And then again, we can make it a little darker. You can change the color of it. If you want it to glow like a, a red or a green or a blue, let's do some kind of a light blue. So now you can see it's a light blue behind it as opposed to just a dark shadow. Uh, we have the reflection of burning. We could add a reflection of the text as well. Um, I don't necessarily want to, but I'm saying we could, um, but let's not. But it's great that they give you those effects for every everything. So up here, we can do the same thing up here with Sub-Zero. We can go to Effects. We can say, you know what, we want that drop shadow, but we want it to be a color. Let's make it red. There. All right, let's play this one more time. <laughs> All right, I like it. So if, you, if you're done and you like it, then you're gonna wanna save it. It will save automatically, but you'll wanna click save yourself at least once, and then you'll wanna download it. So I'm gonna click download. I'm gonna tell it I wanna download the video. So it's going to give you a preview of the project again that you can play here, make sure it's what you want. And then you have two options here. You can save the video or you can save the image. We're going to save the video. And then you have two options for saving the video, MP4 or a move. If you're, uh, most of the time you're going to do an MP4, but there are times you might want to do a move depending on what kind of device you're on and, and where, you're move, where you're going to play the video. But most of the time I'm going to do an MP4 and high quality. Um, if it's something that you want to be able to put on the web but take up as little space as quality, then use web quality. Um, it won't be as good a quality, but it will be a much, much smaller file size. We're going to do high quality. So it'll render in a queue. It usually goes really fast. We're going to, we're going to leave it here for just a little bit so you can see how, how this works. And then I'll show you a couple other videos I made with it. If this doesn't move real quick, then we'll just go back to home now and do that. I just want you to see what the next part of this looks like. Here we go. So you can see that it actually prepares it. Once it's done preparing it, then it goes into the renderer. So then it will render it. Once it's done rendering it, it'll convert it to an MP4. Then it will upload it to our projects. And then it'll be done and we can download it, share it, and do a lot of other things. So let's go ahead and just go back to home. This, this won't take long, probably another half a minute or something. But let's go back to home now. So it's right, it's right here. It, we can't see the, the actual download button and everything until it's done rendering. But like I said, it won't take much longer. In the meantime, we can go to another one. So here's another one just as an example. So when you go to download it after it's rendered, you get a, a, a nice full quality render of it. You've got your project details, the name of it, how big it is. You can download the MP4 right here. And again, you've got regular or high, high def. You've got a move HD file. You can save it directly to your Google Drive or to your Dropbox. You can share the preview of the video with anybody with this link. You can share it on email, uh, Facebook or Twitter. You can email the actual uh, video to somebody. So you'd send a link in an email to somebody as opposed to copying the link and sending it yourself, just however you want to do it. Or you can create a Facebook ad in Facebook Ads Manager using this video directly from this button here. Really cool. Um, so you would download it. So that is pretty much off you. Um, I hope you learned something about it. I hope you like it. I really enjoy it. There's a lot more I can show you and I'll probably do a lot more tutorials. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea. I'm going to I did make a couple uh, Facebook covers that I was really excited about. They're already implemented on Facebook and the clients love them. Uh, just to give you an example of one or two. Sorry about the buffering. Let me give it a second here. So 
So this is a Facebook cover that's on the top of their Facebook group or pay a business page and it shows their logo on the fire and then it ends with just basically a little product product uh, picture and some information and then it, that's where it'll end on their Facebook page and it will stay on this part they'd only see the full animation if they refresh the page or went back to it another time um, so I made a couple of those for clients uh, pretty much on day one just to test out the software and I I loved it I was really excited about it um, the layers and the transparencies work really well. Um, show you one more that is based on that defrost here. Oops. So here's that full screen defrost with us. This is for a client again. Oh, sorry about the buffering. My internet is, is really weak right now. We'll start over. So you can probably tell there, but we've got the defrost layer on top, text on top of that. The text fades away as the defrost goes. We've got the logo. Behind the logo are the flames. In front of the logo is some smoke. And then I have the logo partially transparent so that you can see the flames and it looks like it's in the flames as opposed to in front or behind. So you can kind of see the flames in front and behind it. Uh, so again, I just selected the logo and went up to uh, transparency on the top and you can just select the transparency. Uh, so that's it for Afio. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a fun time. Uh, in, the, in the description down below, I'll tell you how you can get Afio. Um, it's priced super fairly. Their, their monthly price is, is great. You get unlimited, pretty much the whole thing for one package, one price. It's $20 a month. It's $19.99, I'll, but I'll have a link down there. There's also a lifetime deal right now that I totally suggest you get. It's I believe it's like $129. I'll put a link in the actual price in the description down below, but I mean, it's a lifetime deal and you can create unlimited videos, so you won't have to pay monthly or anything like that. I suggest you go that route, but either way, check it out. Have fun. Take care.